Hey Libra, I'm Rena Wells. I'm your spiritual catalyst and welcome to my channel. I'm sure there's something here for you. So take a look around. I totally play in law of attraction, law of vibration. I've been doing it my whole life. So I'm sure there's something here for you. You've been attracted to this for a reason. And if you are returning, you know, I always hold a special place in my heart for my tribe so that we always move forward and constantly keep building and expanding our consciousness. So guys, I'm going to be doing the gypsy spread. If you guys don't know what that is, you won't find it anywhere on YouTube. I was shown it when I was eight years old. So it is a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energy read. I'll put this down a little bit. So it is a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine read. Um, we're going to take a look at the energies and how they're playing out for December 1st to the 15th for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So let's take a look, you guys. Okay. Hit the like right now while you're at it. It helps me out. If anything, if you like my feathers. <laughs> I'm actually going to get a whole bunch more. I absolutely love them. And don't worry, no roosters were killed. They come from Bali. They they were thrown all in the trash. And this amazing woman goes and like, creates these hair pieces out of, you know, to honor the animals. And I think it's amazing. And I'm going to put them in my hair. And I, I actually cry when I lose one. I'm like, <gasps> I no longer eat meat either. I'm a pretty much a vegan. So I'm a pescatarian. Pescatarian. All right, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising for Libra. Or I'll stop talking, guys. Sometimes I get annoyed when I watch readings. I'm like, let that person just shut up already. <laughs> I like to talk. Okay, what is going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for Twin Flames, December 1st to the 15th? Please bring down the container. Thank you. All right. We're going to take um, no reversals, okay? Just upright, guys. So, Seven of Cups here. So we've got confusion. That's really what I'm feeling. Um, confused. Not sure what's going on here. Okay. Looking at options. Excuse me. We also have the lovers. Okay. For Libra. Thinking that you got to make a decision in a relationship because you're confused about what's going on right now. We also have the devil. So yeah. Ooh. A lot of toxicity that's being actioned right now. Feeling trapped. Um, lust. Uh, drugs. Um you know, things like that, just addictions, okay, codependency. Um, we also have here, the outcome here is death, so ending things, okay? So, yeah, Libra, you're really going through the brunt of it right now. Um, you're really um, wondering what the hell is happening here. So let's take a look at what's really going on, okay? We put the masculine on top of the feminine. Let's take a look what's going on for Libra. Okay, we're going to clarify as well. If you guys do want to work with me while I'm shuffling here, I'll just explain. Um, all my information is down below. I am giving out free coaching sessions, but please be aware that it's only an application form. I only give the free session if I intuitively am pulled that you are ready to invest in yourself. Okay, guys, I'm super busy with readings. I cannot have people applying for coaching um, just to get a free intuitive reading. It's a waste of my time. I'm just being honest, okay? Lots of people have been doing that. And I've been debating about putting that link back up. Um, but I do want to help as many people. I want you to recognize that when you do coach with me, with me um, it is intense. I have completely healed my life, okay? So I'm just integrating now. So I'm telling you guys that if you work with me, you will be catalyzed very deeply. Your pain that you haven't worked through will come up, okay? It's very intense, okay? And I will break all your patterns too, your mind patterns. So you've got to kind of come with a humble ego. If you want to know anything more about me, just go to renawells.com. All that stuff is there. Okay. Um, if you do want a reading, I can read your situation just by your first name. I can read anybody, really. It's not that it's not that hard for me. So let's take a look. So we're going to look at this spread. This is very different. This is about the energy from the inside that's happening and coming out. Just like when you do your inner work, everything happens from the inside and then it expands out like a ripple effect out into the universe. Okay. So here's, it is, sorry, my lighting is not the greatest. So we have divine masculine here at the bottom. So what I'm feeling is divine masculine is really dealing with a lot of root chakra issues. Okay. Grounding. Um, what's happening in this connection divine and you definitely are connected divine masculine divine feminine are definitely connected um, in this relationship you can be in a soulmate connection too it doesn't have to be twin flame but I mostly deal with twin flames um, the divine what's happening here it's more about the feminine energy in this connection here what's happening is that she's the center of the reading and underneath is the five of pentacles so the five of pentacles is about abandonment feeling left out not feeling accepted in and um 
knowing that this is a wishes fulfillment, but recognize guys that this is only just a nine of cups. Okay. Oops. It is just the nine of cups. Okay. I'll hold it up this way. It is just the nine of cups. Nine of cups is not spiritual. Nine of cups is very material. Nine of cups is I got my house. I got my home. I got all my stuff together. Right. It's not spiritual at all. You're not going to have a spiritual connection here. So it could be that what I'm feeling is that you guys are really just working in the earth plane. What's happening right now. Okay. Divine masculine here could be that there is somebody else here for the divine that for the feminine energy feeling abandoned and somebody else may have come in. But this is also about action here it could be the divine masculine is wanting to action in regards to um abandonment issues towards the feminine energy and here it's about being abandoned and left out of um a reunion or a friendship or, or you know or not being able to come back together we're gonna have to clarify that not being able to come back together because the overall energy is like something's very toxic here okay so you could be dealing with um thinking that you're in thank you spirit thinking that you're in a twin flame connection and you're not um, and the person that you're with is actually in a twin flame connection is coming into a reunion. Okay. Because we have the three of cups here. Okay. And divine masculine, not wanting a reunion here is in reverse for divine masculine. Um, it's actually reverse for both, but it's like, there's something about a reunion. We're going to clarify that because this is very toxic. What we've got here, um, endings and toxicity and having to make a decision, a lot of confusion here. And, more or less divine feminine feeling like quite left out in this connection. And I feel like through your abandonment, there's like a king of wands that's here as well. And I'm not sure if that's like, Spirit is saying for some, what's happening is that you could only get to a certain place with this connection that you're in right now. Okay. Who you're thinking of and somebody new is coming in to, um, this could be much better suited for you. What's happening here is, um, it's not that you can't come together again with this person, but what's happening is just the nine of cups. That's what they really wanting me to focus on. It's not spiritual. There's not a, an, an extra cup there. It's so you could be in a relationship with this person for quite some time and that it, um, yeah, let's clarify Let's clarify this nine of cups. What is this nine of cups here for spirit? Oh, okay. We got the queen of pentacles. So I'm feeling there's like a lot of people in this situation. <laughs> um, I'm feeling that this could be divine feminine energy. And this is about wanting to be grounded divine feminine in your abundance, in your wishes fulfillment, in what you want. Um, but if this is somebody else, I feel divine feminine is feeling that there is somebody else in the connection. Okay. Yeah. See the sun. I feel you've become illuminated that there's something else that's going on. Clarify the sun. I mean, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So you could be very happy with this, with this nine of cups and you may not, you know, but if you're in a divine connection, you're not really happy with just the nine of cups. You know, if you're truly a twin flame, you want it all, you know? Um, yeah. Becoming, yeah. Happy victory and success and feeling good. Okay. So, you know, this connection, like you may feel like really good in this connection. This may be a soulmate connection. It may not be a twin flame connection, um, hmm. the spirit is saying it could, it's this new person that's coming in. Libra, what is going on here? There's a lot. I'm confused. <laughs> like the energies that are coming in. It's like, I'm really good at deciphering the energy. Because spirit says, let's focus on the king of cups, king of wands, king of wands here. Yeah. See two of cups. Okay. So you're definitely in a connection. There's somebody here that's coming in. I feel with the two of cups here that wants to action this relationship, clarify, let's clarify the, um, emperor with the king of wands here, clarify the emperor with the king of wands. Okay. Wow. Feeling defeated. Okay. So definitely. So if you're in a connection with somebody right now, Libra, there is somebody else who's coming in who's got a two of cups for you. Okay. What I'm feeling that what you're dealing with, with this divine masculine energy in the connection that you're in right now is very wounded person. Okay. Very wounded. Clarify the nine of wands here. Yeah. Who's in the past. You can't get rid of the past. There's something of the past that keeps coming up for them. Clarify the king of wands. Clarify the king of wands. Wow. Okay. So the, the wow. Look at this. We have an offer coming in from somewhere else. So I feel this is, um, 
is going to break down all of these um, um an illusion for you, Libra. Okay. That they're going to come in and they're going to, they want this two of cups with you. Okay. And they're going to, it's going to break down. You're going to have an awakening. You're going to break down of everything of what's happening here. We've got the queen of cups too. Um, and I feel that this person sees you as this emotional, beautiful person who wants to come forward and, and this abandonment issue that you're having, you're feeling left out all the time, right? You're feeling like you're not getting the attention that you want. And um, let's clarify this five of pentacles for the divine feminine energy here, please. I feel this is also a maturing process for Libra stepping into a divine feminine energy. Yeah, you want to leave. Look at this. We've got the six of swords and take your cup and offer your cup somewhere else for something more stable. So I feel like Libra, there may be somebody else that's coming in. If you don't know that there is somebody, there is somebody because what's happening in this connection right now, this person that you're dealing with is very wounded um, and very constantly stuck in the past. Clarify divine feminine empress with the emperor here, please. Queen of wands. Okay. My God, there's so many people. Okay, what I'm feeling here is like the Queen of Wands is you, Libra. Okay, I'm feeling this Queen of Pentacles is definitely somebody else. And I feel there's an illumination here that's happening here. I feel like you see yourself. Okay. I feel like you're happy with this situation. I feel like you're content with however it is with this person that you're with. It's okay. You're working on it. You're happy with it. You, you feel like you've gotten victory success. You want to move forward. But you feel like there's still somebody else here. Let's clarify this Pentacles. What is this Queen of Pentacles that's here? Yeah, there's somebody here that's um that you've had some clarity and illumination towards about. Yeah, see, so you've had to go within about this, but I feel like you've overcome this and you're like, oh, that's okay. Like, um, I'm okay where things are right now, but you're still really confused. I feel like Libra, you're in this like really weird energy because I, I I feel like you're not entirely sure. I don't feel like you've uh. It's a lot of confusion. It's a lot of fog. Not everything is being told. I feel there's another person coming in that wants to give you um, an offering here that's going to break things down for you. I also feel that um, this King of Wands um, here, yeah, is, um, yeah, wants to definitely bring in an offer to you. This Queen of Wands here that's sitting here, I feel that's you, Libra, that you feel left out. Clarify this. Yeah, and that you want this passion, okay, towards the emperor. You want to start anew. It's like things have gotten really bad with this person, but you want to start fresh with them. But it's not happening because they're so stuck in the past, right? And uh, let's clarify again with the queen of the empress with the, yeah, you want to manifest, okay, with the emperor, the divine, yeah, divine feminine with the, the empress with the emperor. You want to manifest. You want to offer this. But how does the emperor feel? How does the divine masculine feel towards the feminine? Yeah, see, they're hiding stuff. They're hiding stuff. See, there's a lot of secrets here. We've got the moon and the and the high priestess. So there's a lot of hidden shit that's going on. They feel very wounded about it. They can't get rid of the past. There's something else that's happening here. And I feel there's another offer that's kind of come in from somewhere else. Okay? Now, if there's not another offer coming in, Spirit is saying that this king of wands is going to is the divine is the divine masculine working on his action oriented self and that he is going to break this connection for another relationship and offer it to somebody else i'm sorry Libra. that's really what i'm feeling or it's somebody fresh coming in so take it as it resonates yeah um what we have here is this three of cups, right? We're going to um, clarify that because this person is hiding a lot of stuff that you're with. Really secretive. I, I don't like that. I, I need authenticity. If I don't have authenticity, I'm like out of there. So clarify the three cups here. Clarify the three cups. What is three cups here for? So generally between the divine masculine and divine feminine, it's about being focused on a reconciliation. Somebody, something renewing the situation, being really focused on that. What is... What is the, I feel that's a reunion, okay? That's a friendship. Clarify the emperor towards the three of cups. Waiting. 
for, to do this. So I feel this mask of this person that you're with is not being completely honest. They're completely hiding shit. Okay. There's somebody from the past that's coming through. They are feeling completely wounded about it because we have death here, right? We have toxicity here. We have relation, the lovers here making a decision about a relationship and we have the seven of cups. So a lot of confusion, a lot of options here. And this person that you're dealing with is, um, really like, I don't move forward. Okay. I want to move forward. I'm waiting. I want to reconciliate, reconcile with this person from the past, but they're hiding it and they're, but they're really focused on it. And they get a lot of clarity about what's happening. So let's see divine uh, Libra. What's happening with you towards the three of cups. Oh, you're going to walk and you know what? And you should, you know, there's somebody else here for you. Let's clarify this King of Wands. I think this King of Wands is nice. Let's clarify this King of Wands. I feel somebody else is coming in. Yeah. They're single and they want a new beginning with you. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Nine of pentacles with this. So yeah, that's really what I'm feeling. There's somebody new or you've just recently met somebody new. The connection that you're in right now, even if it is your twin, there's something it's only getting to the nine of cups. It's not manifesting. And sometimes twins have to split in order to do the healing. And in the meantime, spirit is bringing somebody else in for you. Okay, Libra. Wow. That... I'm glad I got through that because that was a lot of confusion. I can feel it. I can feel the confusion. It's like, I want to purge. It's like, I want to do ayahuasca. I want to purge. Libra, Libra. You know what? Clarify this eight of cups. You need to walk, right? Walk because I feel like you're going to get abundance elsewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if the 10 of cups shows up somewhere. You know? Yeah. Temperance, kindness, compassion, balance. You're moving towards more balance in your life, which is beautiful. Let's clarify this ending here, this death and this and this devil. Ending toxicity. You're really done with this toxicity. That's what's happening here. You're like, see ya. Sayonara. I'm out of here. Yeah, look. You're going to passionately action this. You're going to actually move towards something that's much more stable here. The spirit is bringing, when you end this toxicity, when you move, look at this. This flipped up in the deck. Four of wands. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't feel you're in a total connection. If you are, um, this will bring you union down the road. But I was clarifying the death and, and the devil, okay? Okay, the toxicity. And here, it's like you're ending things and the toxicity in this connection to quickly move towards action, passionately action. This hot knight of want, want, king of wands that's coming towards you, that's um, showing you um, and wanting to give you this offer of stability and union and, and, and love, okay? Let's see this confusion about ending this relationship and making a decision. Yeah, you're in, you're battling this. You're battling this. Five of Wands. There's been some abrupt clarity that's come through. There's been some action towards some kind of communication. Yeah. 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 So Libra, you got. Uh, let's see what healing messages are coming for you because you got some work cut out for you. Like this person is um, hiding a lot. I mean, the Moon and the High Priestess together. Yeah, they're hiding a lot of stuff from you. So let's take a look here. What is going on here? So Libra, so Moon is rising. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Take a look down below. I would love to hear your comments. I know I said I wasn't going to do something in rising, but Spirit really wanted me to do this. Um, I love how it, like how messy it looks. <laughs> okay, some healing messages for Libra. Whew. Thank you, Spirit. That one wanted to come out. Rest. Capricorn got this too. So sit and rest and allow the universe to work its magic. Okay. Look at the beautiful, um, I don't know what this is. That just kind of flew out of my hand. That was weird. Look at this beautiful, like grid like thing that's happening here. It's like the universe is trying to bring these messages down towards for you, Libra. Okay. So rest in this and move towards your highest good. We have like walking away with temperance and kindness and balance towards your own balance and um, putting an end to some toxic situations in your life. But somebody new is coming for you. Okay. So much love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to go do the extended. If you are interested in the extended, all the information is down below. It is a monthly membership. Okay, guys. So you can try it. You can um, end it at any time. Just make sure that when you do get the email that you keep the email because there is a way to cancel it in that email. Okay. So um, I'm going to go do the extended. We're going to look at divine masculine and feminine energies together, get a little bit more detail and see what the masculine is actually feeling towards the feminine and the person that you're dealing with. All right, guys. So much love. Bye. Aha. Uh -huh.